how are you doing today? My name is LP, and I've got something really controversial and um, important to the whole RuneScape evolution and movement right now uh, that I would greatly like to talk about. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. So is the Solomon's General Store and the, let me build the fire real fast, and the Squeal of Fortune negative or positive? Is it, you know, hypocritical? Is it bullshit? Um, I've been thinking a lot about this ever since it came out. You know, it's it's been months since the Squeal of Fortune came out. And uh, the Solomon's General Store has been out a while too. Um, and you know, I've thought a lot about it. Um, and I think I stand definitively on each thing. If I like it or not. Um, and I, I haven't thought about what I'm going to say in this video at all. It's just a random rant, I guess. And if it's too long, I'll probably split it up. And, uh, yeah. But, here's what I think about the, the Solomon's General Store and the Squeal of Fortune. Um, obviously, they're both microtransactions. And if you, uh, if you don't recognize that, you are completely blind. Because they are, um, it's, it's a whole scheme to pretty much, uh, I guess... To make you want to buy extra stuff to participate in the Squeal of Fortune and uh, Solomon's General Store. I think it's a really good business model if it wasn't RuneScape. But unfortunately we've gotten spoiled because Jagex is... They've had this honor thing for a while. Where they didn't want to do that. Um, but I don't know what changed. Maybe investors. Maybe you know just the new CEO or the new vice president or some new management or something. But their direction in the game has changed. Maybe for the better, we don't know. Um, I'm willing to bet that a lot of RuneScape players aren't, you know, business majors in college and shit. But I do think that they're approaching this in a really responsible way. And that's not me sucking Jagex's dick. Trust me, there's a lot of shit that they need to fix that they have been absolute garbage at. Um, one of them is bots. Yeah, that's. I'm not going to go into that today. This is just a fire making... Uh, <laughs> Just a fire making rant. Um, but they could do a lot worse with this. I mean, that you've got the Squeal of Fortune. Um, if you're a member, which most of us are, if you're a free player, you still get to participate into it. But if you're a member, you get to participate even more, whether that be double the spins that a free uh, player gets, or four times as many spins, which is what we have right now, assuming that you've been a member uh, throughout, I don't know, fucking, I don't know. I don't, I'm usually a member all the time because I like to come and go from the game. Um, so I don't know what's like member specific, what is like the month long memberly thing. Also that, that, the, if you stay a member throughout a certain time period, that's a pretty good business strategy as well. A lot of people don't like that because it's just not what they're used to and that's not a good reason to not like something. Especially when it comes to microtransactions. There has been so many more, you know, vicious, um, you know, uh, you know, worse, I don't, for lack of a better term, just bad ways to go about microtransactions in games. Um, a lot of those being, you know, just to get all the money you can out of a consumer and then leave them on their ass and, and try to get more money from them. That's, um... From what it looks like to me, not what Jagex is trying to do, especially with the Solomon's General Store. Now you've got the free 200 coins, I guess that's alright. Obviously it's just a gimmick to get you to buy more, and we all know that. The same thing with the free spins per day. It's just a gimmick to get you addicted to get you to buy more. And unfortunately, I do not support that. I do not support... I do not support microtransactions at all. It's bullshit and it shouldn't be in the game. But it is, and unfortunately there's nothing we can do about it. So we have to look at the good things about it, or we're going to whine and complain uh, forever. Which is not what we should do. So the good things about uh, Solomon's Dungeon Store is some of the items in the store are actually pretty fucking cool. Um, ex I mean, pretty fucking cool as in they look cool and they would want you to play RuneScape more, I guess. If you buy a badass item that you can wear on your, you know... Like right now, my guy is shirtless because I want to look like a fucking badass. That's going to make me want to log in more, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a fucking psychology expert. But uh, the bank booster shit, 
Um, that's bullshit. There should be no advantages in that. That is absolutely uncalled for. Although, if there was an advantage, bank space isn't going to affect the next guy. So, I'm okay with that. The fact of the matter is, if you want to get the full experience of Solomon's General Store, you have to pay real money. And I, I hate that. That's stupid. I think that, like the Squeal of Fortune, I think that they should give you maybe a small sample per day that you can choose to save up. You know, m members only, you know, do what you have to do to get your money. Um, that would encourage people who maybe you don't have the patience. Hey, you know, you can buy, um, you can buy rune coins right now for real money. You don't have to wait and you can get your items that you want. Or you know what, you can save up over a month and get it eventually. Um, it's not going to, you know, it's going to take a lot longer, but you're still going to get your item. And we're not going to look like assholes doing it. That's how I feel about the Squeal of Fortune. I think it's really cool that you can get your daily spins. It's something to log in and do. It's a motivation to log in and maybe skill a little bit. Um, and there's no, you benefit from it. There's no bad thing about it. Like, like a lot of people are hating on Squeal of Fortune, but you benefit from it. I mean, there's other people that would spend a thousand dollars on spins. I mean, the, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Unfortunately, the, I mean, it is an advantage, but think about it if there's a fucking gambling thing on runescape it's not gambling it's like a slot machine right if they added a slot machine to give you benefits and not just like cosmetic items or something it's probably easily abused if you pay real money for it and they've done it in a way to make it so if you paid a thousand dollars you wouldn't even have that much of an, of an advantage if that makes sense so basically what I'm saying is that the School of Fortune and the Solomon's General Store is approached in a way to where you can pay, but you don't even have that much of an advantage over the next guy. So it is still good. It's 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 shitty that microtransactions are in the game, and I wish I didn't have to say that word all the time because I suck at it. Um, but there is some good things. There's some cool things in Solomon's General Store that you can get for free. Um, and that's cool that everyone can participate in that. It's a good piece of content. It covers up your old armor so you don't have to look at the same fucking annoying bullshit getting 99 Slayer, you know? To where you look at your bandos. Oh god, it's bandos. At least you can wear some new stuff and still have the same bonuses. I think that's really cool. And of course, Squeal of Fortune is a pile of dog shit. Um, <laughs> but at least we all get to do it every day. Um, and to people who buy spins, um, I cannot explain to you how inefficient you are because I guarantee you you're getting a lot of those 1,000 coin drops um, and maybe that's just me being envious because I like the squeal of fortune it's addicting I think we all get addicted to it because it's like yeah you gotta get your 200 mil drop but like I said I might expand upon this um, maybe in a part two or part three or maybe I'll just make a series where I kind of expand and say my current ideas about it um, but yeah I wanted to make a video and the first thing I thought of was not a my opinions video on it, but why maybe maybe it's not such a fucking bad thing and maybe you know it's microtransactions it barely affects the fucking game. Thank you for watching. Um and I might expand upon this again. Um School of Fortune isn't that bad, Solomon General Store isn't that bad. Quit whining. Um my name is LP and I don't really hate the shit, alright?